small and independent media companies across New Zealand are worried that a proposed merger between real heavyweights, APN News and Media, and Fairfax Media could cause their demise. If successful, the merger would combine NZME's New Zealand Herald newspaper, which is based in Auckland, and radio stations like News Talk ZB, with Fairfax new newspapers like Wellington's Don Post, Christchurch's The Press, The Waikato Times, papers in Southland, Nelson, Marlborough, Taranaki, Manawatu, you name it, into one news gathering giant. So what would that mean for the smaller media outlets that produce news across the country? Pierre Smolder is the chief executive of the Star Media Group, which owns CTV and the Christchurch Star newspaper, among other titles. He's with us now from our newsroom in Christchurch. Nice to have you with us, Pierre. How is business? How is the Christchurch Star going? Well, we're uh, nearly 150 years and uh, and, and going strong. It's uh, we're pretty. We've got a pretty good position, I think, in our local market. Um, funnily enough, we actually bought the paper from APN, which is now NZME, uh, just about three years ago. So, you know, we sort of know a little bit about, um, we bought, the, I guess, their whole South Island business, which included a, 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 the daily in Omaru from them uh, about three years ago. Okay, so what is it that you fear this merger will do to small community-based operations like yours? Well, Christchurch is, is interesting because Christchurch is New Zealand's second city. Um, Fairfax are, are already quite dominant here through uh, the press, uh, through stuff and the press.co.nz and the community newspapers. Um, if you then add to that the very strong radio stations, I think they'll have a very large share of the local advertising dollar. So we've got Simon Tong and Kieran Davis today both talking about overlapping complementary businesses or referring to international competition. But when you look at the local markets, what's actually happening in these local towns with the percentage of advertising dollars that they will then control and what will they do with that? Okay. So you are simply worried that you will be, and this is a pejorative term, and I, and I, and I don't mean that they're going to willfully do this, but by sheer size and monopoly position, you're going to be bullied out of the market. Yeah, and I think, look, it's fair to say that, that that Fairfax, we have a, a healthy but but pretty, you know, fierce competition with them. Yeah. Um, and Fairfax at the moment are, are not afraid to to leverage their strong position in the market. So they will go into uh, deals with sponsorships and with events, and they will specifically say that we will only sponsor this or become a partner of yours if you do not advertise with the star. And we'll get um, organizers of events saying, look, we'd love to be advertising with you, but Fairfax won't let us. So, so excuse me, Peter, know, that, is, that, that is, is that taking place now? Okay. So uh, uh, that strikes me as slightly anti-competitive. Yes, absolutely. Is that, so, so you absolutely know that to be the case? Well, we know it happened with the Christchurch Art Gallery um, opening just a couple of months ago. So we were we were told quite clearly, even though that's a council organisation, that we were no there was there was going to be no spend and no advertising spend with us because the deal that they had tied up with Fairfax. So add to that um, the the new stocks that'd be in the radio stations, and I guess in Christchurch it would be a Fairfax dominated operation. Um, yeah, we're we're certainly concerned about that. Okay. What do communities gain from having real local media, ground-up media? What stories does the Star tell, which the press, which is a very good newspaper, doesn't tell? The press is an excellent newspaper, but it's becoming more and more uh, hubbed out of the, the, the big centres. Um, so we, we will tell stories... Um, that they were, we, we cover very different stories. We take different angles. Um, we're taking uh, our lead story tomorrow um, is a story about uh, the anchor projects in Christchurch. We've come up with some information about there's no deadlines going to be put on them now um, by the government. You know, we, we cover stories of importance. At our community newspaper level, we cover real grassroots stuff. We do a lot of stuff with schools. We do a lot of stuff with families. Um, the Star is, a, is sort of a metro that covers the whole city. Yeah. Um, and the community papers that we've got are, are really more that grassroots schools, community groups, uh, family, family events, that kind of thing. So it's pretty important. Can I, can I ask you to leave Christchurch momentarily? I, I see here that APN also owns majority shareholdings in the Gisborne Herald and the Fakatani Beacon. So if they merge with Fairfax, do you have any idea what would happen to those titles? 
I think, I, I'm not sure, they might be large minorities. I'm, I'm not sure. That, they may be right, they're majorities. But they have significant shareholdings anyway. So mm. I'm not sure. I, I'm, I mean, we have, um, we have a good relationship with, with NZME through um, the history content with APN sharing. that they used yeah. to own the star. And don't you have content sharing uh, with content, them? Content but also advertising. Yeah. We, we do, and we do advertising tie-ups. So we have partnerships for national advertising. So that will go, um, obviously, because uh, Fairfax, fair enough, wouldn't want to partner with us. So um, I think that I think it's a problem, and um, the, the, that access to national advertising dollars for regional independence, which is tough anyway, yeah. um, might become even tougher to get because they'll basically carve that up between themselves, I suppose. Pierre Smulder is the chief executive of the Star Media Group, which owns CTV and the Christchurch Star newspaper, among other titles. Thanks for joining us, Pierre, and thanks for going into our Christchurch newsroom to do so.